from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of cultures, traditions, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Namaskar viewers, welcome back to another episode of My India. I'm your host Pratiksha Mishra and in today's episode, we're going to offer you a glimpse into India's cultures, diversity along with the developments happening in and around the world. In India, spices are not merely ingredients. They are a cultural tapestry woven into life's very fabric. From the earthy symphony of turmeric to the fairy whispers of chilies, each region boasts its own unique blend. A secret language spoken through cardamom sweetness or the smoky depth of cloves. In today's episode, we'll give you a glimpse of India's spices which more than adding magic to meals have fostered exchange across the world for centuries. Take a look. Spices in India have long been a part of its cultural fabric and are inculcated in the minds of people through their aromatic, rich flavours and delectable tastes. The spices used in dishes also vary depending on the region, the type of dish and the personal preferences of the cook. Turmeric, coriander, garam masala, black pepper and kenan pepper these spices play a crucial role in adding unique flavours to food. Traditionally, spices have been used in cooking to make food appetising and flavoursome. Besides flavouring, they also hold medicinal and religious significance. For instance, turmeric is believed to be anti-inflammatory and ginger is believed to be good for digestion. The history of Indian spices used in cooking is centuries old. As Indian Ayurvedic texts like the Charak Samhita, which is believed to have existed somewhere around the 2nd century, also document the medicinal uses of spices, showcasing their holistic significance. Moreover, kingdoms like the Mauryas and the Cholas actively participated in the spice trade enriching the economies and cultural exchange. Today, Indian spices are used all over the world in a variety of products such as sauces, bakery goods, frozen foods, beverages, dressings and packaged foods. Of the 109 variety of spices listed by the International Organization for Standardization, about 75 are produced in India. बहुत अच्छा परफॉर्म कर रहा है हमारे मसाले दुनिया भर के देशों में जा रहे हैं स्पेशली अमेरिका में बहुत मसाले जा रहे हैं हमारे मसालों की क्वालिटी इतनी बढ़िया है कि ज़्यादातर देशों में उनका इंपोर्ट है। कोजी कोरे, often called the city of spices in Kerala produces a wide array of spices like black pepper, bay leaf, cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg and vanilla pot, which are exported to foreign countries. Moreover, the production of spices like chilies and coriander from states like Andhra Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh are adding to the economy of the country with their increased exports. According to the India Brand Equity Foundation, during the year 2022-23, the production of spices stood at 11.14 million tons, while India exported spices and spice-related products worth 3.73 billion US dollars to 180 countries in 2022-23. Indian spices are mostly exported to China, the US, Bangladesh, Thailand, the UAE, Sri Lanka, Malaysia, UK, Indonesia and Germany. More than 70% of all export revenues in the year 2020-2021 came from these markets. I 
Uh, I think uh, we will be touching an annual uh, growth between 10 to 12 percent very soon. And uh, the Indian government has, uh, they have a target to touch about 19.5 percent uh, annual export sales. Uh, so we can, you know, be out there in the global market. Recently, a global spy summit was organized in Rajasthan's Jaipur, where many big names from the spice industry were in attendance from across the world. The summit was an initiative to promote Indian brands selling spices by providing a platform for industrialists to interact with and promote their products globally. भारत आज से हजारों सालों से ही नहीं आज से नहीं हजारों सालों से मसालों के लिए बहुत प्रसिद्ध है और आज के डेट में अगर हर मसाला व्यापारी मसाला बनाने वाला अगर एक दूसरे से जुड़ा रहे एक दूसरे की बात समझे समस्याएं समझे क्या नेशनल इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे समस्याएं आ रही हैं तो इस समिति से काफी चीजों का हल हो सकता है सरकार से काफी प्रोत्साहन मिल रहा है पीछे किसानों को भी काफी प्रोत्साहन मिल रहा है ये मैं कहूंगा कि अच्छी सरकार अच्छा व्यापार देती है Due to the ongoing growth in the Indian spice market those setting up their industries in this sector are also getting a lot of benefits Taking forward their marketing initiatives, major spice manufacturers are coming out with their new products. Meanwhile, farmers are benefiting from the increase in demand and production. India is a land of great saints, assimilating into its fold various cultures and faiths from time to time. It is a land where Sufism has not only flourished in its true spirit but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. A glimpse of it can be witnessed at the shrine of Murad Shahji in Punjab's Amritsar where people from different religions come to pay tributes and pay for their well-being. Take a look. India, as a multicultural nation, is complex with its diversity. In India, where every religion and religious group flourish together, acting as beacons of harmony, Sufism is one offering a common destination for every devout group. Located near Tarawala Bridge in Punjab's Amritsar is the Dargah of Sufi Saint Murad Shahji, which is growing to become a harmonious ground for communities in today's time. People of diverse faiths, Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs and Christians all come in large numbers every day to bow their heads together at the grave of a saint without any discrimination. The Mazar of Saint Murad Shah was established in 1956 and since then the Islamic structure has always been filled with devotees who come to offer their sincere tributes to him. हम हर रविवार इधर मथा टेकने आते हैं हमको यहां बहुत ही सुकून मिलता है और यहां जो भी जो भी हम श्रद्धा अनुसार जो बाबा जी से मांगते हैं वो श्रद्धा हमारी मनोकामना पूरी होती है और हम सबको यही बोलते हैं कि श्रद्धा से आए प्रेम प्यार से मथा टेके और किसी भी प्रकार का भेदभाव ना रखें इनिशियली द दरगाह वाज कंफाइंड टू अ स्मॉल एरिया However, as the shrine witnessed an influx of devotees and devotion to the Sufi saint, more land was allocated to expand this harmonious site into a grand structure. Another fun fact about this dargah is that there is also a temple on the premises of Sufi shrine which makes this site stand out from other pilgrimage destinations. अमृतसर में काफी सालों से जैसे रह रही हूँ बाबा मुराशा जी की ये दरगाह है और मैं जैसे मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम वीरवार के वीरवार यहाँ आती हूँ थर्सडे हर धर्म के लोग यहाँ पे आते हैं ऐसा कुछ नहीं है कि एक पर्टिकुलर धर्म आता है किसी तरह की डिस्क्रिमिनेशन नहीं है यहाँ का द्वार हर धर्म के लिए खुला है The devotees, be they Hindus or Muslims, all come here with the belief that this dargah is the last resort where all their problems will end. 
people often come here seeking solace and peace away from the chaos of everyday life moreover it is believed that whoever comes to the darga never returns empty handed as all their wishes get fulfilled upon coming here the darga also feeds thousands by organizing langar or free meals regularly for devotees बहुत पुरानी दरगाह है आई वॉज आई थिंक फाइव ईयर्स ओल्ड जब से पुरानी ये दरगाह है और इस दरगाह की बहुत मानता है एंड मेन माइल ये है कि ये रिप्रेजेंट करती है सारे कल्चर्स को सारे रिलीजन्स को क्योंकि यहाँ पे आप इधर उधर देखोगे तो हिंदू सिख ईसाई सब धर्मों के लोग आते हैं एंड दिस दरगाह इज रियली अ पावरफुल काइंड ऑफ डेस्टिनेशन मैं भी कुछ सालों से कंटिन्यू यहाँ पे आ रही हूँ एंड द थिंग इज दिस कि आप स्पिरिचुअली अगर कहीं जगह पे अटैच होते हो दिस इज वन ऑफ द पावरेस्ट थिंग आई एवर फाइंड इट आउट Becoming an integral part of ethos among the public in the last several centuries, the Sufi traditions have played an important role in widening their understanding of the world in all its spiritual dimensions. The teachings of Sufi saints still reverberate in every nook and cranny of India and continue to inspire people to live in peace and harmony. And now some of the stories that made news recently. Yoga enthusiasts in India's capital New Delhi got an extra dosage of puppy cuteness during their yoga class ahead of this year's Valentine's Day. Valentine's all about love and the best way to show love is to bring someone who can give it back to you in the most truest form. So I'm so happy that they could be part of this. Pause and Poses which specializes in yoga sessions paired with dogs across India held a Valentine's Day themed course. featuring 11 rescue puppies including golden retrievers and a shizu which are all up for adoption the session lasted for about an hour and was open to couples and singles alike while some hardline hindu groups protest against celebrations of saint valentine's day in india calling them immoral and a corruption of the country's ancient civilization the year's most romantic day has become increasingly popular especially in urban areas led by retailers who had jumped on to the bandwagon Enthusiastic kite flyers from over 8 countries thronged India's southern Mangaluru city to participate in the International Kite Festival. This is for the 7th time we are conducting an international kite festival at Mangalore. Today we have 9 uh, 8 countries international countries and about five teams from india and the persons from uh, abroad they really like mangalore and you ask any of the flyer international flyer he will tell you that the winds are very steady in the mangalore beach which is not there anywhere else in the world the sky was filled with vibrant kites in the shapes of cartoon characters animals and mythological characters Participants from countries including Indonesia, Thailand and Ukraine were seen flying kites with unique shapes at the event. The steady wind speed makes the beach in Mangaluru a fan favorite spot for flying kites, said the organizer. Hundreds of luxury vintage cars rolled out on the streets of the Indian capital to participate in a classic car rally. ये 57th year है इस rally का Delhi में और हम लोग कोशिश कर रहे हैं इस legacy को आगे बढ़ाते रहें. More than 100 100 cars जो हैं इसे participate की. Ardent automobile enthusiasts gathered to see a melange of antique vehicles exhibited by passionate car owners. The cars were later flagged off by a federal petroleum and natural gas minister Hardeep Singh Puri. Rolls-Royce, Mercedes, Morris and many other luxury brands were among the rare vintage cars on display at the event. Moving on. 
The city of Surat in India's Gujarat state is once again garnering appreciation across the country for its innovation and recreational initiatives. Authorities have revitalized the stereographic technique by adding it to educational courses, subsequently generating employment opportunities for students. Take a look. The vibrant city of Surat in India's Gujarat state is a rich blend of culture, tradition and innovation. Surat has long been known for its diamond market and textile mills. However, the city's essence extends far beyond just the trade of luxurious and expensive market items. While keeping up with the essence of Surat's age-old cultural and historical legacy, students at Veer Narmar, South Gujarat University, are studying the past. They are learning the serigraphy a technique of printing in order to revive the 19th century printing method as a part of the new education policy introduced by the Indian government. The method initially used for printing invitation cards and for textile impressions is set to generate employment opportunities for the youth. Education may he ek uh, new education policy ke antargat screen printing sikha rahe serigraphy bolte hain jo hum sab ne kahin na kahin dekhi hai bas hame khayal nahi hai ki wo kaise hui thi kyunki bahut purane time se jab hum invitation card lete the wedding ke kuch bhi occasion hai to uske card isi process se chapte the to humne wo fir se tradition recall kiya hai aur hamare student ko sikha rahe hain taki wo aage ja kar ye traditional method ko aage leke ja sake aur इसका एक अलग ही इम्पॉर्टेंस है एक अलग ही फील है क्योंकि हमें जब हैंड पेंटेड कार्ड मिलता है ना तो वो एक अलग ही सुंदरता प्रदान करता है और इसका काफ़ी कॉमर्शियल भी यूज़ होता है जैसे कि टेक्सटाइल में कपड़े के ऊपर प्रिंटिंग डायरेक्टली ऐसे कर सकते हैं जो कि हमारे अभी स्टूडेंट्स ने ट्राई भी किया है द फ्यूचर ऑफ स्क्रीन प्रिंटिंग इन सूरत इज नो लॉन्गर कन्फाइंड टू डस्ट आर्काइव्स as it is being reimagined reinvented and placed in the hands of a generation that embraces both heritage and innovation students in the meantime are getting pleasure while pushing ink through mesh and imprinting designs as part of serigraphy mechanics yes screen printing hai isse hum kai हम टी शर्ट वगैरह सब प्रिंट कर सकते हैं और यहाँ पे हम मतलब एक ही बार थोड़ा मेहनत करना पड़ेगा पर उसके कई सारे एडिशन हम निकाल सकते हैं और कम खर्चा होता है विद दैट स्क्रीन प्रिंटिंग हैज बिकम मोर देन जस्ट अ क्राफ्ट इट हैज बिकम एन एम्पावरिंग टूल इक्विपिंग स्टूडेंट्स विद स्किल्स फॉर सेल्फ रिलायंस एंड क्रिएटिव एक्सप्रेशन इनिशिएटिव लाइक दिस not only inform youth of their regional legacy but also revitalize the age old artistry while also providing employment opportunities and now some of the stories from the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of world in focus In a whirl of color and music, Bolivia's carnival got underway in La Paz, where dozens showed off their traditional dances. Queremos demostrar lo que es la hermosa cultura del baile, en lo que es practicar la danza ligera de los bailes más hermosos para mí en lo personal. Demostrar al mundo nuestro folclore, el amor a nuestras tradiciones y culturas pasadas. Demostrar estos bailes y poder expresar nuestra felicidad y la alegría que sentimos al bailar. Wearing elaborate costumes, dancers from over 40 dance groups twirled through the streets during the Andean Carnival, also known as Jisca Anata. The Andean Jisca Anata celebration is one of Bolivia's indigenous population's most important festivals and involves the combining and coming together of many of the La Paz department's Andean populations. The festival aims to rescue melodies, instruments, and dances of the country's indigenous communities. The 
Peruvian city of Puno burst with color and sound as thousands danced to honor the Virgin of Candelaria with a proud display of folklore, tradition and joy that mixes Catholic devotion with Andean culture. Es demostrar el cariño y pasión que tenemos hacia nuestra Virgen María de la Candelaria porque el cariño que nos, que nos da es inmenso. Over 40,000 dancers converged on the city of Puno in southern Peru for an annual dancing competition to mark Candelaria, a Christian feast day that commemorates the presentation of Jesus at the temple by Joseph and Mary. Dancers perform the caparales, traditional dancing which originated in Bolivia in the 1960s among other traditional music and dance styles. The festival was declared an intangible cultural heritage by the UN in 2014. A group of South Korean octogenarian rappers have hit it big in their hometown and beyond, rapping about farm life and bringing energy to a quiet rural area threatened by a population slump. Suni and the Seven Princesses have become local celebrities since debuting in a community center in August last year in Chilgok County, an area in North Gyeongsang Province, more than four hours' drive from capital city Seoul. Their success comes just as South Korea is expected to become a super-aging society as early as next year, with a fifth of its population above the age of 65. Rural areas like Chilgok have the greatest risk of fading into irrelevance as young people move away to the cities and fewer of them have children. Their lyrics are often about rural life and include lines like picking chili from a chili farm, picking watermelon from a watermelon farm, so happy to be back home. Park's proud 27-year-old granddaughter Kang Hae Hyun believes her grandmother is the most famous resident of Chilgok. Group members who have known each other since they were young missed out on an education in the harsh years after the Korean War and in 2016, they all took an adult education class to learn how to read and write in the Korean alphabet. Group members who have known each other since they were young missed out on an education in the harsh years after the Korean War and in 2016, they all took an adult education class to learn how to read and write the Korean alphabet Hangul. Last year, Park came across a rap performance on the internet and the group decided to learn rap from their Hangul teacher and make a senior hip-hop group writing lyrics about their rural life. Their debut came at a school play at the same community center where they met for their Hangul classes. Inspired by the success of Suni and the Seven Princesses, four other rap groups made up of older South Koreans have sprung up in Chilgok, some formed with the idea of staving off dementia and loneliness. Moving on, India's Madhya Pradesh state recently celebrated skydiving festival in Dharmnagri Ujjain. The event drew in more than 60 adventure enthusiasts from around the country who came to explore Ujjain's beauty from heights. Take a look. The city of Ujjain in Madhya Pradesh is steeped in history and ancient culture, comprehending hundreds of temples as part of the city's preserved heritage. The cultural fabric of Ujjain dates back more than 5,000 years wherein traditional dance, music and the regional fair hold special significance. During the course of time, Ujjain has evolved and today the religious city is grooming itself to become more than just a destination for pilgrimage. In a bid to make this religious destination an attraction for everyone, the Madhya Pradesh Tourism Department recently held a 10-day festival for adventure enthusiasts featuring skydiving and paragliding under supervision of experts. 
फरवरी आठ तारीख से लेके अठारह तारीख तक तो यहाँ चलेगा जिसमें ऑल ओवर इंडिया से स्काई डाइविंग को जो पसंद करते हैं जो इस ये एक्सट्रीम एडवेंचर एक्टिविटी है तो जो लोग भी आएंगे यहाँ उज्जैन में रुकेंगे उज्जैन को देखेंगे समझेंगे हमारा उद्देश्य यही है कि ये परमानेंटली यहाँ इस तरह की एक्टिविटी होती रहें तो महाकाल की वजह से तो उज्जैन आना होता ही है लोगों का और साथ में कुछ ऐसी एक्टिविटीज़ भी जुड़ें ताकि लोग बाग हाई एंड एक्सट्रीम एडवेंचर को भी करने के लिए यहाँ आए स्काई डाइविंग एंड पैराग्लाइडिंग इज एन एरियल स्पॉट विच अलाउज वन टू जम्प ऑफ हाइट्स विद फ्री पैराशूट The jump height for skydiving was around 10,000 feet, considering factors like aircraft capabilities, providing a good balance of freefall time and safe descent, while complying with the government regulations. The Adventure Festival drew in over 60 adventure enthusiasts from across India. यहाँ हम लोग 10,000 फुट से टैंडम स्काईडाइविंग कराते हैं इसमें तो एक ही हम यूज़ कर रहे हैं पूरा इंटरनेशनल लेवल के स्टैंडर्ड में मेंटेन किया जाता है कोई भी चीज़ हम अपने तरफ से नहीं करते कानून के हिसाब से ही पूरा ये स्काईडाइविंग किया जाता है स्पेशल टीम ऑफ स्किल्ड प्रोफेशनल्स वॉज डिप्लॉयड एट द इवेंट विच प्रिपेयर पार्टिसिपेंट्स फॉर एरियल स्पॉट्स बाई हेल्पिंग दम पुट ऑन स्पेशल सूट्स वाइल ऑल्सो मेटिकुलसली चेकिंग ऑल इक्विपमेंट हार्नेस पैराशूट helmet goggles to ensure everything is properly worn and secured furthermore the participants were briefed by the mentors about the safety procedures equipment functions and the jump sequence in detail ujjain jitna zameeni taur pe sundar hai usse kai zyada khoobsurat wo aasman se lagta hai शिप्रा नदी हो या महाकाल लोक हो हर चीज छोटी जरूर दिखती है लेकिन दिखती बहुत खूबसूरत है हर हर महादेव बहुत अमेजिंग था बहुत मजेदार भी था बहुत अच्छा लगा आके फिर से उज्जैन में और स्काई डाइविंग जैसी चीज उज्जैन में हो सकती है ये मेरे लिए थोड़ा कंसेप्चुअल के बाहर था तो इट वॉज अमेजिंग दीवेंट वॉज एन इनिशियटिव बाई द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू प्रमोट इट्स रीजनल ब्यूटी एंड कल्चरल हेरिटेज and will continue in the preceding years it serves as a gateway for the world to experience the state's vibrant culture and rich traditions that's all we have for you this week i'm your host pratiksha mishra and it's a goodbye from the entire production team